Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, the 29th of August. I hope you're having a great day. Wednesday is our family uh, ministry night. We have adult Bible study, which we're, we're finishing the book of Daniel tonight, and, and then we'll go into our next study. And, and there's, there's youth ministry, there's kids' ministries uh, for boys and girls. And so come out and join us at 6.30. Uh, God is just doing some great things. But I, t today we're continuing on with the book, talking about Habakkuk, in Habakkuk 2.20 where it says that God is, is in the holy temple, that the whole earth must be silent. And so yesterday we kind of dealt with being respectful and we spent a little bit of time on that. And I hope that you are considering defining a place that you can actually stop and just listen to the voice of God. So this morning we're going to continue on with, yesterday we, we, uh, we talked about being respectful. But we also need to understand that you can be respectful, but you got to be willing. you got to be willing to just stop and, and, and be silent and listen. We must listen without bias. What do I mean by that? We must understand that there are different kinds of listening. And you can listen, number one, with criticism. You are trying to find out what's wrong with what you hear. Number two, you can listen with resentment. You are feeling picked on or you are mad at everything every word you hear or or you might feel like number three superior uh, you think that you already know everything or number four you can listen with indifference your heart is hardened to what God is trying to tell you and and you just don't care uh, number five you can listen with obligation you are listening only because you are obligated to wait your turn so that you can talk uh, number six, you, you can le listen with learning. This may be strange to say that God listens to us so that He can learn about us or about what we are saying because He knows everything about us and He knows what we are going through, this, this, what we are going to say before we say it. So what's the point of praying if He already knows? He wants us to, us to know that He is interested in us. We need to listen so that we can learn not only what He wants from us, but so we, in order, can he to hear from the Lord. So then we, we have respect, we have listening. But we need to understand in this, and this is a recap from last week, we need to realize who God is. God is in the Holy Temple. God is everywhere, right? If He is everywhere, listen to this, if He is everywhere, then why does the Bible say that we are to go to the throne of God when we talk to Him? It is simply because we need to take time to go to Him personally. You need to understand that you're, you're not just talking to the walls or the ceilings or the sky, that you're talking to the Heavenly Father. Listen, the Holy Temple, the church... Now, I'm not talking about the structure that you may attend or not attend. I'm talking about this. You, when the Bible talks about the church, God is talking about those who are Christians. When a person is saved, they become a part of the church. There is only one body, one church. You are either a part of God's family or you're not. If you are a Christian, then you are a part of a body, and a, t a body is a temple of God because the Holy Spirit of God lives within you. Listen to this. The holy temple is in heaven. Listen. God, the Father is in heaven on the throne. And God, the, God the Son, Jesus, is at the right hand side of the throne. All Christians will live eternally in heaven with God because of what Christ has done for us. So on this day, on this Wednesday that we are talking, we're going to complete this, this section of devotions. And I want to challenge you that, that stop and just listen to the voice of God. Because He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to have that kind of deep relationship with you. And, and I just pray that as we continue on, that you're just encouraged, that you're blessed, that you're, you're ready to move on to whatever God has for you. Because God has a plan and a purpose for you. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless them with a great day. I pray that they grow in your hope, grow in, in, in their relationship with you. But most of all, I pray that you bless them. I pray that you give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow with a new topic. God bless you. Bye-bye.